Hello and good evening. Thank you for coming to the final concert for this year's Bexley High School Vocal Ensemble. Um, we are going to do um, a mixture of different selections for you. There are programs for those of you who are here in person. For those of you who are online, uh, you, I will kind of announce a little bit about what they're going to be singing. And I have my phone with me just to remind you to make sure that it doesn't make any noises during the concert. That'd be awesome. So the first two selections will be sung without interruption. The first one is entitled St. Nicholas. It is not about the jolly guy. Um, it is about a saint, that, and this selection was written about a thousand years ago. It will go straight into another piece, uh, I'm sorry, and that first selection is arranged by Michael McGlynn, who is an Irish composer. That will go directly into a selection in Latin, a Nua Gaudia, and we'll have soloists throughout. So just hold your applause until the end and we'll acknowledge them at this time. So this is St. Nicholas and then Anua Gaudia.
Thank you, and I'm sorry, uh, they told me that I was a little out of order in the program, so my apologies. Um, the next selection is Regina Taylor Et Letare by Jose Maurizio Nunez Garcia. If you were here hmm, about three weeks ago, we did his Requiem, and that will go straight into one of the most beautiful pieces ever created by somebody who stylistically is similar, as you heard me say, if you were at the Requiem, by um, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, the Ave Verum Corpus. So again, these will go without interruption.
Thank you very much. The next selection is another classic, um, the Vittoria Ave Maria. And it's related to what they'll be doing because in 10 days, they'll be getting on a plane and going to Portugal and Spain. This is, yeah, absolutely. This is their first international tour since 2019. Obviously, there are reasons why they haven't been touring. Um, and we are excited to be able to share our music with uh, the people in, starting in Porto, in Portugal, and traveling through northern Spain. So Vitoria was a Spanish composer, and so that is not only is this a gorgeous piece meant to be sung in a space like this, but also the tie-in with him um, being from the country we're going to be traveling to. So this is uh, his Ave Maria. Our next selection is one um, that we brought back from last year. We did this in the fall when we were lucky enough to be able to combine with the Ohio State University Chorale. And it was a song that they could learn in a couple weeks between their fall concert and then this other performance. It's one that some of the singers last year did and I think it's incredibly impactful. Um, and it is something that I urge you, especially in this beautiful space, to just sit and let the sound wash over you. I say, we all know this, this is why they're still here. These seniors back here, raise your hand please, seniors who are about to graduate in three days. Yeah, they're done with school. They were done on Monday. They do this because they love it um, and music is healing and we need a lot of healing in our world right now. Um, the best part of my day is getting a chance to come and work with them and hear them sing. But there's a lot outside of that room that is scary. And so I urge you in this moment, this is Come Sweet Death by Bach. And it has this gorgeous aleatoric section you will hear at the end. And you will be able to see because they have motions when they're singing their parts. And I urge you just to sit and listen and let it wash over you. Because as we say, music is healing and I think it will be a balm to those of us who feel so weary right now.
Our next selection is also one we did a few years ago. Uh, and so some of the singers that are seniors got to sing this. Is that correct? Am I doing this right? Celine? Oh, you don't know what's next. Celine's boat. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Looked at Olivia. I don't know. Um, Yes, so Celine's boat, we had the opportunity to sing uh, right before everything sort of stopped in March 2020 when they went to sing in Milwaukee as the only choir from Ohio at the ACDA convention. It's a gorgeous piece. Again, something that is meant to be sung in this space and features our good friend who will be traveling with us along with Chad um, Kiffy, and he's playing something called a happy drum, which I think is appropriately named, though it's spelled H-A-P-I. I think it will make you happy to hear it. So this is Celine's boat.
Our next selection is uh, an arrangement of a traditional spiritual by Moses Hogan called Walk Together Children. And again, you'll hear over and over, walk together children, don't you get weary. There's a great camp meeting in the promised land. You can attribute any sort of meaning to it. We found a meaning of just, we're not gonna get weary with having to have different protocols and making sure we're doing all of these X, Y, Z things we haven't had to do before to make sure we can keep safely singing. So, you know, it can make us weary. So we've felt, at least I, I have, and I've been inspired by their singing to think of it in that manner. Um, and you'll, you'll hear them say, they're gonna sing, they're gonna shout, they're gonna walk. So, um, and that's what they're going to do in just over a week and a half. And then they will close with a traditional that they do um, entitled The Road Home. And it's uh, adapted by Stephen Paulus and will feature four of our seniors uh, in a small group. Their names are not in your program, but I want to make sure that they are acknowledged. Olivia Beckman, Tova Blumenfeld, Olivia Millard, and Roshan Sivaraman. So at the end, you'll hear this glorious descant sung by these four seniors, and they'll do it again at their graduation on Sunday morning. I thank you very much for being with us. You can applaud vigorously after this next song, sorry. Um, th these aren't without break, um, but I'm just, they're tired of hearing me talk. So the first will be Walk Together Children and then The Road Home. Thank you for watching online or being here in person. Um, I know many of you are parents, so you sort of had to be, um, but thank you. This is just a chance for them to sing in this beautiful space. Very grateful to First Community Church for letting us have uh, our concert here and to Stuart for, and his team for making this possible for all of us at home to be able to watch. Um, we're just, they create such beautiful music and we're really happy to share it with others in um, 10 days. Uh, but thank you for being here and thank you for supporting these singers in something this important. So this is Walk Together Children. I'm done after this. Sorry. What I was going to say is this is just a snapshot of some of the literature that they'll be singing in Spain and Portugal. Um, that program, they have 20 selections they could pull from. Now, they're not going to sing 20 songs on every concert because that's actually, that would be horrific, and many of them would like say, no thanks, right? It's a lot. It's taxing. But what's great about them is that they're so incredibly talented that we can have this big menu to choose from, right? So many of those selections you heard the last time they sang here in February, which is why we chose not to do those now, so that this way they could practice in this space these beautiful selections they hadn't done yet. But just so you know, this isn't their own, this is not the end of their tour program. There's probably twice as many more songs that they have. Um, and we'll make some recordings and have those for you, family, um, for <laughs> when they're traveling. So I wanted to just say, if you're saying, oh shoot, I wish they'd sung this piece. Well, they will, and we'll take recordings of it and share it with you.
Thank you very much. Thank you for spending the evening with us. We hope to see you at our next concert, which will be, don't think I'm strange, um, but if any of you are interested, June 20th, which is a sun, I'm sorry, a Monday at 1 p.m. at Otterbein, they'll be singing at the OCDA conference. And I'll sneak you in if you want to come. Um, other than that, uh, October um, 9th is their fall concert for next year. I know. I know. Well, they know the calendar, and October 9th is right there. So um, it, it is coming up, and I'll see you there if we don't see you before. Thank you so much, and have a good evening. <laughs>